born with heart defects need specialized lifelong follow-up care. They need someone who understands the impact of developing heart problems as an adult. Here to tell us more about the importance of continuing care for adults is Dr. Stephen Cook, the director of the Adult Congenital Heart Program at Helen DeVos Children's Hospital. Thank you so much for being here sure. with us. Thanks. Good morning. Good morning. Let's go ahead and first of all, we need to tell everybody what congenital heart disease is. Sure. Congenital heart, heart disease is a, a condition that patients are born with. Mm -hmm. And with regards to congenital heart disease itself, this either involves failure in the normal development of either the heart or surrounding blood vessels, whether that's the aorta or the pulmonary arteries. Mm -hmm. So how, how common is this? It sounds so scary, but... <laughs> It is, but it's, it's actually one of the most common congenital defects. Um, about 8 per 1,000 children are, are born each year with congenital heart disease, and it's much greater um, in frequency or prevalence compared to other conditions that we think are more common, like cystic fibrosis. It has a prevalence only of about 1 in 2,500, so you can see that there's many more children with congenital heart disease born each year. Mm -hmm. So I, I just had a child about four and a half months ago, but it, it is um, your heart kind of is pacing a little bit when you go in there and get in as they listen. Is that what they're listening for? Absolutely. Yeah. So when you're going in to see your, the, the pediatrician for a newborn, well -born, newborn checkup, uh -huh. they're listening to heart murmurs, looking at blood pressure and pulses to kind of exclude the presence or absence of congenital heart disease. Yeah. And we talked about, you talked about the eight in every 1,000, was it? Correct. Which translates to uh, one point three million or so, yeah. something like that. There's a really there's a, a huge growing number of these patients. It's almost estimated based on population based studies that there's close to two million adults with congenital heart disease in the United States alone. Mm -hmm. It's not a death sentence though. It's absolutely not right? a death sentence. You know there's been huge um, developments in the way we care for our patients, looking at there's been uh, over the last decades improvements in surgery and non surgical options, what we call transcatheter interventions. Okay. So many of our pediatric cardiologists will say that they have an 85% uh, survival well into adulthood are patients who are born with congenital heart disease. And we always talk so much about prevention, prevention, but this is something that people are born with. Absolutely, yeah, there's really no prevention at all. About uh, one to three percent of all of us could have a child born with congenital heart disease. And why are there so many adults with it? So uh, there's been, like I would mentioned earlier, there's been new approaches to how we manage our patients. Uh -huh. They're getting better medical therapies, better surgeries, and having non-surgical options. So our patients are now getting into not just their 18 through 20s, they're getting to 30s, 40s, and etc. Well, we're so blessed to have Spectrum here in the community and a wonderful team of doctors. If you want to go ahead and talk about the team and, and what it is that you guys can do for everybody. Yeah, we're really blessed, you know, here uh, locally. We have a very talented surgeon, Dr. Marcus Haw, and then our interventionalist as well, who really kind of helps provide the interventions that our patients need. That's Dr. Joseph Vedicottle. So really the three of us, you know, work hand in hand and, you know, knowing that Dr. Vedicottle and Dr. Ha are also pediatric specialists. It's mm -hmm. really transition of care from that pediatric time period to the young adult period as well. So it's we don't lose our patients to follow up. They're all managed lifelong. And, you know, a lot of times people can trace their history when it comes to certain medical conditions. Is this one of those things that will run in a family? There are a couple of rare conditions that are familial, mm -hmm. um, but again, we're just still learning to understand the genetics of congenital heart disease. So I can't say to each patient or family that this is something that can be transmitted to their children and so on. So the big thing is, is once you figure it out, learning to control it, right, and manage through life absolutely once you have it you have it right yeah because many of our patients think that they have been uh, fixed and that's not the case they've been repaired and they can really run into trouble as we're kind of reaching late adolescence and young adulthood our patients can be uh, at risk for uh, heart failure or symptoms that are related to pump dysfunction how well the heart muscle squeezes mm -hmm. they can also be at risk for heart rhythm problems what we call arrhythmias and that can also be associated with sudden cardiac death and those are all things if you're managed in the adult congenital clinics we can prevent some of those late onset complications or try our best so so I'm assuming you still want these people to exercise right Absolutely. your heart is a muscle yeah so what are what are some things that people can do to kind of management manage it yeah that's a great question I think many of our patients back in the 70s and 80s were told not to exercise. Mm -hmm. So unfortunately one of the things we deal with in the young adult congenital clinic is being overweight or obese and kind of you know re-educating our patients. It's safe to exercise. Get out there. 10,000 steps a day. Whatever they can really get out there to do to help live a healthy lifestyle and to lose weight if necessary. All right. Some great advice. Thank you very much. Thanks so much. Sure. The Congenital Heart Center is located at Helen DeVos Children's Hospital at 100 Michigan Street Northeast. It's up on the 10th floor. You can find them online or give them a call at 616-267-9150. And coming.